our friend Kenan is going wolf tracking in Park Falls in an airplane. Let's check it out. I'm Kenan, and this is my first time in a plane like this. No lunch served on this flight. Using the antennas on each side of the plane, we can track wolves from high above them using radio signals. It's all for their benefit, to see how much space they need, how they move around, where they move to, and to follow and study them throughout their lives. I turn to the left, I don't have any signal, so we know the animal's to the right. So it's somewhere out this way. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn around and go to the west to try to identify, see if I can narrow in better where he might be. People have been tracking wolves for decades to learn more about them. Wolves play an important role as a predator in the ecosystems they inhabit, like here in Wisconsin. They feed on large mammals like deer, and it helps to remove sick and injured animals from the populations. That makes more room and resources for the healthy ones. With the left antenna, to the south, the signal's very loud. To the north, it's not very strong. So I know that the animal's somewhere to the south. There's also the old-fashioned way to track wolves, from the ground. Not long ago, I spent time with some real wolf trackers. This is one of the biggest packs we got in the state right now. Ron and Randy from the Bureau of Endangered Resources have been keeping track of the wolves for years. If the snow was deep, you'd see a lot more. Well, it helps that they're all going the same direction. Some of the wolves have collars on so they can be followed and studied. And the collars will make a sound on the radio. That's how we can find them from the plane. The range on the ground is anywhere from one to one and a half miles or less. This collar lasts anywhere from three to five years. We had some wolves with it on for four years and it was still beeping good. They're following just one pack of the 66 they think live in Wisconsin. Yeah, these are, these are wolf prints. They're bigger than anything else that's out here. Uh, big as a man's hand. Each pack is different. This one looks to have about eight animals in it, even though you might only guess four. Know why? It's because they do what's called registering. They walk in each other's footprints, just like we might in deep snow. And that's how eight animals can look like four. Let's head back to the clouds and see what's going on from up there. Still searching. That's okay. It can take a long time. You've got to have patience for this kind of work. Don't worry. If you just keep trying, it's bound to pay off. Great, there they are. See him down on the road? He's standing right down there looking up at us. He's on the woods rope facing south. There's one animal there. Everybody knows wolves howl, but we're not completely sure why. One thing's for certain, it helps them stay in contact with each other. They range over vast areas to find food, and they're often separated from one another. Howling is a way of staying in touch. One of the ways we've learned all this is by tracking them, just like we're doing today. When things go right, the wolves can be collared and followed, teaching us more about them each year. Thanks for coming along. This is Keenan, hoping you had as much of an adventure as I did. Portions of the preceding program were co-produced by the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources and Discover Wisconsin Productions as part of the children's television series, Into the Outdoors.